Welcome back guys, this is Absolute Drinks with Rico. I'm Rico and yes, she's still here. Yeah. Miss Hedda Bruce everybody, round of applause. Yeah! And today, we're gonna be focusing on one of the most requested drinks still on the channel and one of the most popular vodka drinks around the world today. What is it Miss Bruce? Espresso Martini. Yeah! One of my favorite drinks for sure. But Hedda Bruce is gonna show you how to make the original espresso martini. We're also gonna show you how to make a long espresso martini or the long espresso. And then we're gonna try and do a few little riffs, try and make some twists on the classic and give you guys two brand new drinks just off the dome. So should we get into it, Hedda? Yeah. Ooh! I think we have some questions to answer. How do you make an espresso martini? Roddy. How do you make an espresso martini frothy? So I think there we're talking about the nice thick crema that you get on top of an espresso martini. To be honest, hot fresh espresso will give you the best crema. So when you're shaking the cocktails with a lot of ice, that will help your drink to get mm. this foam on top. But the real truth is to get a good frothy head, you've just got to shake hard. If you want to know about shaking, go check our Bartender Basics video, because that really goes into the real differences about shaking. And we use an espresso martini within that video just to showcase the different levels and how shaking's good. Yeah, and make sure to use a lot of ice when you're shaking the cocktail, because that will help a lot. I'm gonna go for the next question. What do the three coffee beans mean in an espresso martini? It's just the garnish, guys. Makes the drink look a little bit prettier. You could also like dust some cocoa powder on it. What does your local coffee shop do? You know, do they use caramel? Do they use chocolate sauce? Do they use this? Do they use that? All that's gonna work well in an espresso martini. If you can do it in a coffee store, you can do it in your coffee cocktail. We've got one last question, Miss Bruce. Do you use cold coffee for espresso martini? You could use cold coffee for your espresso martini, but coffee that's been standing for a long while will give like a bitter taste to the coffee. So make sure that your coffee is always like freshly brewed. Mm. The espresso martini, guys. Absolute vodka comes straight through and elevating all the flavors there just to make everything taste more. And the Kahlua right there, the coffee liqueur, gives it almost a chocolatey note, which is real delicious. Perfect like after dinner cocktail. Mm -hmm. Let's start with small shaker first. Okay. And we're gonna start with the coffee. And as you can see, the creaminess in this coffee. Good coffee. So be careful, this is very, very hot. Yeah. So hold mm -hmm. the bottom. So we're gonna pour 25 ml. Okay, nice. So Hedda, do you think you could use instant coffee for this? You can, but you have to make sure to shake really, really hard. Good, thank you. What's next then? The coffee liqueur, Kahlua. Okay. Uh, the same amount, 25 ml. Okay. Is this as hot as the coffee? No. We're gonna add some absolute original. Original absolute vodka. Brand new bottle, looking fantastic. Just wanna get that one in there. Super nice. Do you know the magic number? 45. 45 ml. Nice. Sorry guys, this is annoying. All right, so we're gonna ice this shaker up mm -hmm. and make sure to ice all the way up. What's next, Bruce? Let's shake these ones. Okay, let's do it. Ooh. Oh, now that is what you're looking for. Good big froth, good bubbles. You know we've made it good when that happens. We also want to double strain this cocktail because mm -hmm. we don't want the small ice pieces floating around in the drink. You know. Look at that. So you always know that you're shaking it right just by this type of like radiation. Exactly. Like a good stout, really. It should slowly grade up and then end up just having a nice cut off line like that. But we're not done yet. I know what you're gonna do. The guys at home already know. Mm. I've got a big old gap and these rattle around and get stuck. I don't have that natural filter of front teeth like most people. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna garnish with one in the middle. And I'm gonna go naked. Or you can also smash the coffee bean like this and put it on top. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Should we try it? We can. Let's go for it. Mmm. Ooh wee. So it's a very sweet flavor of coffee together mm. with absolute vodka in it. Balanced very well together. A lot of flavors. Stays very long. And you know what, guys? 
If you don't have martini glasses, just make it in a, in a rocks glass. Make it in a coffee mug if you want. It does not matter because it's your drink and it's how you want to drink it at home. The espresso martini, guys. Yummy. Should we teleport Yummy. again? Yeah. You know, every time we teleport, there's just hundreds of these kitchens set up with new equipment on, so we just teleport to different ones. Yeah. You ready? Let's go. Whoa. Jeez. Wow. That kitchen was a little bit lower than the last one. Oh my days. You okay? It's good. I need a drink though. What are you thinking? Well, you know I want to make this nice long version of an espresso martini, mm -hmm. so we're going to show them the long espresso. Wow. What's great about this drink is we cut a little bit less alcohol in it, so it's a bit of a low ABV version. But also super easy. We don't need any fancy equipment because we're going to do another built drink in the glass. First of all, you're going to need to take your nice highball glass and we're going to need our measurers, AKA the jigger. So, always start with your cheapest ingredient first, but not in this one again, because we're going to be topping up this drink with our mixer. Mm -hmm. And because we're going to build it in the glass, we're going to get everything in there first, fill it with ice, and then we're going to top. So what you're going to actually need first is a spoon. S teaspoon, bar spoon, small spoon, whatever you've got, because we want to put just five mil of our coffee liqueur, Kahlua, straight into the glass. So we just want one little, five mil like so. Now we're gonna have a little bit of a spin. We're gonna give another layer of flavor mm. and we're gonna add some- Layers of flavors. Layers of flavors, that's what I'm all about. We're gonna stick some absolute vanilla in there. Wow. And we're gonna want 25 mil. Ooh. Didn't even look, but I knew it. Mm -hmm. What's next? Just gonna give this a little stir. You don't really need to. It's just my OCD, just to make sure everything's stirred together a little bit. But the next thing is uh, we're going to ice this up. Please, would you ice me? We're actually going to ice all the way to the top. The more ice, the more cold your drink will stay. And, and less diluted. This is correct. Less ice means more dilution. More ice means less dilution. So please stop asking for one cube of ice in your drink because you don't want a diluted drink. Lots of ice keeps the flavors nice and potent. What's next? The final ingredient. And the last thing we're gonna do, this is how easy this drink is. We've got some cold brew coffee here. Cold brew coffee is coffee which you brew cold, believe it or not. That means we don't use any heat in the production of this coffee. Get your favorite cold brew coffee, or if you have a favorite coffee at home, simply grind that up, put that in some water in a container overnight, uh, no longer than 24 hours. It's gotta be 24 hours exactly. Then strain the off with, as you would like a normal coffee, and you'll be left with this cold brew. And the benefits for cold brew coffee, because you don't have that heat, means you're really gonna open up all the coffee flavor without burning away any which means you're gonna get a much lighter coffee flavor. You're gonna get a more floral and fruity coffee notes. So all you wanna do is just pour over until you fill the glass up, nice. like so. Now again, I'm gonna take my little spoon and I'm just gonna give it a stir. The reason for stirring is just to make sure everything's mixed together. You don't wanna be drinking cold brew coffee all the way and then when you get to the end, just have that packed, powerful amount of vodka down there. You wanna make sure everything goes through the whole drink. And you know what? That's it done. Oh. This drink is no garnish, it's no fuss, it's no messing around. Very simple. Super simple. Just like me. But should we get into tasting it? Cheers. Skål. Skål. What do you think? I really like how the vanilla comes through together with the coffee. Mm -hmm. The great thing about vanilla, not only is it a great flavor, but vanilla and other things like cinnamon, they give a perceived sweetness without adding sugar. So it really does give the drink a kind of sweeter flavor, but there is no sugar there. It's perceived sweetness. That's real good. It's really good. And a little bit like a lighter mm. flavor of the coffee. So it's not that heavy, mm -hmm. like maybe an espresso martini. You can drink this pre-dinner. You can drink this after dinner. I actually don't think there's a bad occasion for this no. drink. It's really, really light. Not a heavy coffee flavor. No. And you know, if you actually like your drinks with cold brew in it, check out the coffee with Gianni. That's made with mm. exceptional, absolute grapefruit. It's a very good drink. It's insanely good. I didn't even realize that grapefruit and coffee worked so well till we did that. Mm -hmm. Shout out Gianni, you're a good man at heart, even in those speedos. But before we get on to the next one, guys, please show us your creations. Put them onto social media and tag them 
Absolut Vodka. And hashtag? Absolut Chris. Okay, now let's go to make some drinks. You ready? Ready. Let's go. What? So, sorry, ah. guys. That was weird. That We was need to really sort weird. out that magic. A crema martini. So this is gonna be more spear forward. We're gonna have some hints of coffee, but it's not gonna be as much as in an espresso martini. The sound a of more this. Elegant twist. You know, this has that kind of like Irish coffee vibe going on with that thick whipped cream. Really getting those chocolate bitters coming through. Really smooth. The texture's luxurious. What's this we got going on here? I've not seen this today. So we're not gonna shake it, we're not gonna bill it, we're gonna stir this drink. Since we have not very much ingredient, we want this drink to be a little bit more like elegant in the style. We're gonna stir this drink up mm. uh, because the texture changes for if you're shaking it or stirring it. When you stir a drink, you get a bit more of a smoother texture. And when you shake it, it becomes a little bit more crunchy. Exactly. Spiky, zesty. Let's get into it. I'm yeah. excited to see this. The cheapest ingredients first. Mm. So here I made a rock candy, which is a mm. caramelized sugar syrup. How exactly do you make this? You add sugar in a saucepan. Mm -hmm. You uh, make it melt. Mm -hmm. And when all the sugar has melt, you add some water to it. And do you want to get it to that point where it starts to caramelize? Exactly. So as soon as it starts to go that brown color, yeah. that's when you pull it off the heat. Exactly. Remember that, guys. And be careful. So, we're gonna start with a bar spoon. Mm. So, the difference between a regular simple syrup and a rock candy or caramel sugar, as we also call it, it's, it gets another flavor. It gets more caramelly. Also, you notice when you make a simple syrup, you do equal parts sugar, equal parts water. With something like a rock candy syrup, you really want to be going more towards a rich syrup recipe, which is two parts sugar to one part water. Exactly. And we're gonna add some coffee liqueur, mm. Kahlua, about 30 mils. Absolute original. Mm. The same amount. New bottle. New mils. bottle. Beautiful, huh? It's amazing. New bottle flavor, new bottle bottle. And before we start stirring this drink, we're gonna add some chocolate bitters that I've been infusing with some coffee beans. You take the chocolate bitters and mm. you add some coffee beans to it. You let it sit for about 24 hours and just strain the coffee beans out. So we actually did a simple syrup video and we told people that you can actually infuse syrups with everything. So does this mean you can infuse bitters with pretty much anything yes. almost as well? You can do that with spirits too if you mm. want to add an extra flavor to your spirit. Because we don't do a chocolate absolute but we could add some like chocolate. Yeah. Mm, interesting. So we're gonna add three dashes. Getting some tips from the best guys. We're gonna stir this drink. This is looking good, mm -hmm. very, very good right now. So since we don't added any extra coffee to this, we have the coffee liqueur and I also wanted to add the extra coffee flavor from the bitters. So that's how we get the coffee mm. flavors in this drink. So we're gonna strain this one. Oof. Very nice glassware mm. here. Ooh wee, look at that. But we're not done yet. We're gonna add a nice little cream on this top. So make sure to shake your cream a little bit so the cream will float on top and do it carefully with a spoon. So it will look this beautiful and be like a layer on top. That looks fantastic. And we want to add these extra flavors and aromas of the coffee. So I'm gonna smash this coffee in. Real nice. And garnish it on top like that. That looks real good, Bruce. Do you want to try it, Rico? Of course I do. Very excited. Mm. Mm. It looks beautiful. That's real good. Mm. Mm. Wow. What do you think? Actually, like, wow. Super coffee. Yeah. Like, it's really packed in the coffee, considering there's no real coffee actually in there. Also, with the added whipped cream there, it just slides down. That's an exceptional espresso martini. And you can see it is very spirit forward. It's something you're going to want to sip slowly and enjoy, but it's perfect for after dinner. Yeah, it is. Meow. A crema martini. A crema martini. Meow. That's a crema martini. A crema martini. Happy Thank with you. that. Okay. The crema martini, guys. The crema martini. Let's make it clap. Meow. Okay, so now I guess it's time for me to try and make yes. a drink. What are you thinking? The Coco Cobra. 
I'm actually going to take my inspiration from the long espresso martini. Mm. It's going to be very similar, but it's going to be based on a little experience I had drinking one of the best coffee drinks I've ever had. So my favorite coffee shop in Shanghai actually makes its own cold brew, but uses coconut water. What? So it makes a coconut cold brew and it's insane. So I'm going to try and recreate that. I'm also going to shake this drink and serve it kind of short, but over ice. We're gonna take our small little tin shaker here. I'm gonna to start to build everything in. Hmm, cheapest ingredients first, as we always say. In this case, we're gonna go with the cold brew. And I'm actually gonna put 30 ml of the best local cold brew you can find. I think I'm gonna add some Kahlua just to oomph up those coffee flavors. But I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna go with 20 ml. I think that's that gonna be, so crazy. that's not crazy. Good, I don't wanna to be too crazy. Perfect. Thank you very much, Bruce. We're gonna go for the coconut water next. And I think I actually want about 50 ml of coconut water because coconut water is kind of light. I want to make sure those flavors are still being picked up, but I don't want to cut away the coffee too much. And last but not least, the star of the show in their beautiful new clothing. It Absolutely. It is very beautiful. It's delicious, right? I'm gonna go low ABV on this as well. I'm not gonna go with a full 45. I just want to go with 30 ml of the absolute original. Because what that's gonna do is just try and elevate and amplify all the flavors in there. I'm gonna shake this up now. Oh, you brought some nice ice with you. I brought some nice ice, because I'm kind of bougie and fancy like this. We'll get into more ice in another video soon. For this shake, I'm just gonna use one block of ice like this, and then give this a wee shake. Mm -hmm. Oof. So we're gonna put this into our glass now. I actually think this ice cube is a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna use some fancy bartending tools and I'm just gonna cut this in half. Good catch, Bruce. Here you go, Rico. Thank you very much. And then we're gonna just put that right in. No need to do the fine strain, just because we use this big chunk of ice, that means it's not really gonna break up in here because of how hard it is. I'm just gonna pour it right over. Oh, nice foam. Thank you. Look at that. You can't teach that. That's just a skill that comes naturally to get it that perfect. And that's it. And just like the long espresso, I'm not gonna do no garnish. Mm. I'm gonna serve it straight up exactly like this. It looks amazing. You can see how it's a lot lighter. Yeah. Which means it's not gonna be so heavy when we drink this. And um, I want you to tell me what you think. Mm. Mmm, I really like how the creaminess comes through mm -hmm. in the drink. The coffee works very well together with coconut water. Actually. It's insane, yeah. right? It's real good. Let me give this a try myself. Just like a small hint of coconut water. That like takes it. me back to sitting in the French concession in Shanghai. I'd actually say, and don't kill me for this, I think a little bit less Kahlua, and I think that would be spot on. I think that's just because I really want to get more of that coconut water. I mean, that's good as it is, but five, 10 mil less Kahlua, and we could be onto a good thing. Yeah. And I'm just going to call this Coco Cold Brew. Coco Cold Brew. Coco Cold Brew. The Coco Cold Brew, sponsored by Rico. I think we've done real good there. Me too. Not only have we shown you the original espresso and then the long espresso, we've then taken both of those drinks and then twisted them again. Yeah. Just through trial and error, that's how experiments work and that's how you're gonna make some great drinks. But believe me, and you've probably seen, we fail sometimes, but this time we won. But we wanna see your creations at home. What's your different coffee drinks? What's your different espresso martini twists? So like and subscribe down here below. And please show us how you express yourself. Did you just say that? Yes. <laughs> okay. I guess we're there now, guys. I guess we're, we're there. Thank you for coming down to the uh, Espresso Martini masterclass of an episode we did for you today. I think it's been real. Meow. Yeah.